Candid Camera. Candid Camera is a popular and long-running American hidden camera reality television series. Versions of the show appeared on television from 1948 until 2014. Originally created and produced by Alan Funt, it often featured practical jokes, and initially began on radio as a candid microphone on June 28, 1947. After a series of theatrical film shorts, also titled Candid Microphone, Funt's concert came to television on August 10, 1948 and continued into the 1970s. Aside from occasional specials in the 1980s, the show was off-air until 1991, when Funt reluctantly authorised a syndicated revival with Dom DeLeo as his host and Vin Bona producing It Ran for One Year. The show made a comeback on CBS in 1996 before moving to PAX TV in 2001. This incarnation of the weekly series ended on May 5, 2004, concurrent with the selling of the PAX network itself. Beginning on August 11, 2014, the show returned in a new series with Iolan episodes on TV Land, but this incarnation only lasted a single season. The format has been revived numerous times, appearing on US TV networks and in syndication first run in each succeeding decade as either a regular show or a series of specials. Fund who died in 1999, hosted or co-hosted all versions of the show until he became too ill to continue. His son Peter Fun, who had co-hosted the specials with his father since 1987, became the producer and host. The United Kingdom version of the format aired from 1960 to 1976. Premise The show involved concealed cameras filming ordinary people being confronted with unusual situations, sometimes involving trick props, such as a desk with drawers that pop open when one is closed or a cart with a hidden extra gas tank. When the joke was revealed, victims were told the show's catchphrase, Smile, you're on candid camera. The catchphrase became a song with music and lyrics by Sid Raman. The show often played its hidden camera pranks on celebrities as well. One episode had actress Anne Julian scheduled to make a small donation to a Lithuanian charity. When police officers informed her a con artist was behind the charity, they persuaded her to donate a much larger amount with the assurance that he would be arrested when he accepted the cheque. After the arrest attempt, Gillian was told the man was running a legitimate charity, a setup that forced her into acting as though she had intended to donate hundreds of thousands of dollars all along. In another episode, the show filmed the reactions of citizens after they saw the former president Harry South, Truman walking down the street. After being advised that the former president and his secret service Andros would be taking a walk in downtown Manhattan, the program tracked them with a hidden camera in a van. A young woman who was a champion runner was planted at a street corner they would pass, and she was asking directions from a passerby when she saw Truman and shouted hello. In a stunt suggestive of the classic radio play The Hitchhiker, she then ran around the block so she could be ahead of Truman and was at the next corner where she again said hello to him as he approached. After this was done several times, she asked President Truman if something seemed familiar. The former president replied he expected she had something to do with the van that had been following him and pointed straight into the camera with his walking stick without turning to look. Some of Fun's pieces did not involve pranks but consisted simply of interviews with ordinary people. There were bizarre sequences in which people, sometimes children, gave one-of-a-kind interpretations of works of art. A little girl once told Fun that the discus thrower by Praxettle showed a man throwing his little girl's allowance to her while she stood in a backyard. Radio History The candid microphone was first heard on Saturday, June 28, 1947 at 7.30pm on ABC Radio. That series came to an end on September 23, 1948. The announcer for the radio program was Dorian Street, George, 1911-2004. Beginning June 6, 1950, the candid microphone was broadcast by CBS on Tuesdays at 9.30pm, sponsored by Philip Morris, which continued for three months until August 29. TV History Fun brought his program to ABC Television in 1948, using the candid microphone title of the radio series, and then switched to NBC in the fall of 1949 for Philip Morris, with Ken Roberts as his announcer, at which point its name was changed to Candid Camera. The format moved to syndication in 1951 and continued for three years before returning to NBC in 1958 as a segment of Jack Paul's The Tonight Show. The segment reappeared in 1959 on CBS as a feature on the Gary Moe show before once again becoming a standalone show in 1960. Its longest uninterrupted run came in the CBS Sunday evening version. Debuting in October 1960, dominating its 10 pm time slot for seven years, the program reached its peak in 1963, placing second for the year in the national Nielsen ratings. In these shows, producer slash host Funt was joined on stage by several co hosts. Veteran CBS broadcaster Arthur Godfrey joined Funt for the first season until he quit due to an inability to get along with the volatile Funt. Replacing him was Gary Moe's longtime announcer and sidekick Dalwood Cubby from 1961 to 1966. For the final primetime season, TV hostess and former Miss America Bess Myerson co-hosted. 
The 1966-67 season with Myosin saw the series' first use of color film. Appearances on the show by silent film comedy legend Buster Keaton were included in the 1987 Thames television tribute documentary Buster Keaton, A Howard Act to Follow. Among the standout favorite segments was 1965's traffic cop Vic Syinka with the Pittsburgh Police, who gained national exposure through the show and later appeared in Budweiser commercials, as well as Italian TV and the movie Flashdance. A then unknown Woody Allen was one of the writers for the show in the early 1960s and performed in some scenarios. Though a rarity, a few celebrities appeared in the last CBS season, among them were baseball legend Jackie Robinson, impressionist George Kirby and Rich Little, singer Mike Douglas and rock vocal group The Four Seasons. Following an ABC special in the summer of 1974 celebrating the program's 25th anniversary, Candid Camera returned the fall for a five-year run in weekly syndication, with Font Ism C again and John Bartholomew Tucker and Dorothy Collins as early co-hosts. Fanny Flagg, one of Funt's writers during the 1960s run, also shared in sea duties with Funt during the 1970s era, as did Phillies George, Betsy Palmer and Joe Ampey Flock. This version was taped at the Ed Sullivan Theatre in New York City for its first season, then moved to WTVF in Nashville for the remainder of its run. The network TV version celebrated its 35th anniversary with an NBC special in 1983. Four years later, a series of occasional candid camera specials aired on CBS with Peter Funt joining his father as co-hosts. The show also aired a season in daily syndication 1991-92 with Dom DeLewis as host and Eva LaRue as co-host. Produced by Vindai Bona, Fund authorized this version, but did not approve of the format or host. He stated in his biography Candidly 1994 that he deeply regretted his decision which he made strictly for financial reasons mainly because he did not think DeLewis understood the spirit of the show or was an appropriate host, and also because he felt the bits were weak and interesting and too preoccupied with incorporating the show's sponsor, Pizza Hut, into them in an overtly commercial way. A 1996 CBS program celebrating the 50th anniversary of the format dating back to the Candid Microphone days led to another series of occasional Candid camera specials, and then to its return as a weekly CBS show with Peter Funt and Susan Summers as co-hosts. The show moved to the PAX TV network in 2001 with Dean Eastwood taking over as co-host, remaining on the air for three more years before suspending production. In April 2014, it was announced that the TV Line Cable channel was reviving the show, ordering 10 episodes. Peter Funt returned as a host, joined by actress Mayim Bialik as co-host, with the series premiering on August 11. However, it was not renewed for a second season. Ratings The 1960-67 run was arguably the most successful version of the show, according to the Nielsen ratings, 1960-61, has 727.3 rating, 1960-162, hash 1025.5 rating, 1962-63, hash 231.1 rating, 1963-64, hash 727.7 rating. Films. In 1970, Funt wrote, narrated, directed and produced an X-rated candid camera style theatrical reality film, What Do You Say to a Naked Lady? A second film, Money Talks, followed in 1972. What Do You Say to a Naked Lady? Eventually led to a series of videotapes of an adult-oriented containing nudity version of Candid Camera produced in the 1980s, called Candid Candid Camera. These videos were shown on HBO and the Playboy channel. Rewands. The 1960s version was seen in reruns on CBS Daytime at 10 on ESD from September 26, 1966 to September 6, 1968, with local stations continuing to air the series for the next several years. It also aired on the Hall Comedy Network in 1990-91. The 1970s version continued to play on local stations for several years after its cancellation, followed by a run on cable's United States of America network later in the 1980s, and another go-around on both Comedy Central and E in the early 1990s. Reruns of the late 1990s version and the PAX version were carried by GMC TV for time in 2011. The final season of the 60s version and first season of the 70s version aired on GLTV from 2012 to 2013 and returned to the weekly schedule in December 2016. No episodes from the 1991-92 season were run. Television A British version of Candid Camera began in 1960 and ran for seven years. It was initially presented by David Nixon or Bob Monkhouse and featured Jonathan Routh and Arthur Atkins as pranksters. The show briefly returned in 1974, hosted by Peter Dulay with Arthur Atkins and Sheila Burnett. Another series was aired in 1976 with Jonathan Routh in charge, with Dulay as producer. These two 1970s series reappeared in 1986, with an opening sequence from Peter Dulay. Jeremy Beadle made his name hosting prank shows, known to be Beatles about in the 1980s and 1990s. Channel 4 and Dom Jolie developed Trigger Happy TV in the early part of the 21st century. A similar style show with no real presenter went out as Just for Last on the BBC around the same time. 
an Australian version of Candid Camera titled Candid Camera on Australia, aired on the 10 network in 1989-90. Prebeck saw it to an adaptation titled Lessons on Sisjin Chimera, a German variant of Candid Camera known as Verse to Hensai Spass. Well, a wave of other American hidden camera prank shows began in the 1980s. Totally Hidden Video was shown on Fox from 1989 until 1992. NTV Aschenkutcher vehicle punked devised elaborate pranks on celebrities. Some shows have been criticized because of the potential cruelty inherent in pranks such as scare tactics. Oblivious was a series which gave cash prizes to unsuspecting subjects in the street who answered trivia questions but did not realize they were on a game show. More recent prank shows have been girls behaving badly, just for laughs, gags, the Jamie Kennedy experiment, boiling points trigger happy TV, and how do it. Perhaps the most ambitious of all was the Jewish Mo show in which Matt Kennedy Good was surrounded by actors and hacks for the entire series. One episode of Supermarket Sweep from 1991 featured Johnny Gilbert mentioning during the Big Sweep to a team member named Barry who also appeared on Monopoly. He thinks he's on candid camera, but he knows he's on Supermarket Sweep. In a 2010 interview, Peter Funk commented on some of these shows, saying, We've always come at it from the idea that we believe people are wonderful and we're out to confirm it. Our imitators and other shows, whether it's Jamie Kennedy or Punk, often seem to come at it from the opposite perspective, which is that people are stupid, and we're going to find ways to underscore that. Academia. In 1964, Cornell University's Department of Psychology asked for and received permission to maintain an archive of candid camera and candid microphone episodes for educational research and study purposes. VHS. Candid camera Christmas, candid camera golf, gags, candid cameras, all time funniest moments, pot side, and Roman two candid cameras, biggest surprises, candid cameras, pets and animals, candid, candid camera, dot content, candid kids. DVD. Best of the 1960s Volume 1 Best of the 1960s Volume 2 Best of the 1970s Volume 1 Best of the 1970s Volume 2 Best of the 1980s Volume 1 Best of the 1990s Volume 1 Best of Today Volume 1 Best of Today Volume 2 Candid Camera Greatest Moments Candid Camera Full in the Census Green Kid Inspirational Smiles Most Requested Characters The Fun Family Collection Classic Audio CD Candid Microphone 1960